hello, camera, strap to a tree. Greetings from the bog near the Russian border in the subarctic of so-called Eastern Finland. Um, eating cloudberries and want to share a few thoughts about this festival I was um, driving bike taxi at on the last weekend. Um, <laughs> quite many moments in this uh, last weekend I was dreaming of this place here, the silence, no people, uh, it was really full. Um, well, it was really interesting to work in this festival, to work as bike taxi driver on this festival. I really had um, some issues with understanding of what we are doing here. So let me kind of go a bit into the bigger picture. Um, when I think about our world and our situation as humans in the moment, um, to me it seems really clear that this do no harm um, and leave no trace approach, which seems so like almost normal for many people when they go to the woods, this leave no trace and do no harm, um, that we really need to apply this in our everyday life. Um, just when I look at the size of this festival, how many trucks uh, were parked there ready to load up all the stages and toilets and tents and uh, cashier systems and fences. Uh, this whole infrastructure of this festival, um, massive. Like there were 71,000 people attending this festival. They all needed food, they all needed travel, um, they all need toilet. Um, and then there is a lot of, um, yeah, well, of course, a lot of booze was in the in there also. Um, so everybody was really busy. Like, you know, the police had to do some extra work. Bike taxis were doing extra work. Uh, and I wonder where this doesn't do harm. Like a festival this size. Uh, yeah, it's a fun thing to do and it comes from a time, I guess, where we had grown used to yeah, being able to do whatever we want. Um, and I mean, like a festival like this, what a huge footprint it has. Unbelievable. Like, just unbelievable. Um, like, even locally, I mean, like all the rubbish flying around and the glass and all the cleaning that needs to be done of the whole city. Um, but overall, the whole footprint of everything that was involved there, um, I find it really, really not hard. I find it impossible to justify it. Uh, it's, it clearly uh, does harm. Uh, it clearly leaves some traces. Um, and it most certainly doesn't do good. Um, don't want to, I don't know, be the party pooper. Uh, it's just really the observation of um, how our nature, how we nature are doing. Um, we humans, we have, or our ancestors and including our my own generation and myself, like we have fucked up so much that basically anything that we do now um, should need to be directed at the well-being of life in all its diversity. So like actually repairing things, not just not doing harm and leaving no trace, but actually fixing things. Um, and when we live lifestyles where we have festivals and travel around the world uh, to, I don't know, be with our, at our dream destinations or meet people, um, I don't know why we travel for so many reasons, um, it doesn't do us good. And at the same time, like, it's so easy to, to have a good time without um, causing uh, harm and kind of participating in nature. Um, yeah, so that was a few thoughts on this festival, Ilosari Rock 2022. Um, I guess a lot of bands played music there. 
uh, and people had a fun time. Um, the question is just like on on the on whose shoulders do we have this fun? Um, like it, it's a, it's a huge privilege to even be able to think like like we want to have a festival of this size, um, and then like the footprints there. Yeah, done on the um, graves of other species and other people, and I find it really hard um, to to talk about this because it's it's not very pleasant. Um, we I think it's it's very inconvenient to think that festivals like this um, shouldn't be part of our routines anymore. We have grown used to it. It's a tradition almost. And the same goes with so many other things. Yeah. It's uh and then again it's like really not not you know, I don't know. It's not a loss to give things up, right? It's like because we create space for for bringing something else into our lives. It's um it's really like an upgrade when we reduce the life size and the life speed. So I don't think we need to be afraid of having to give up things or reducing. So um, and it's inevitable. Sooner or later, festivals will end. <laughs> Sooner or later, we will be back at bicycle speed and bicycle distances. And I think it's better to choose it actively than eventually find ourselves in the situation where we ended up there, um, not voluntarily and in a suffering way that it's just like no other way left yeah hey though <laughs> i had some berries um they're so good bye bye have a good time love you